What is up with y'all stepping on the track and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to tell y'all the number one shortcut to becoming a full-time producer in 2020 or 2021. Either or it's gonna work, you know, within these last few months of 2020 or within, you know, next year. But a lot of people think I might say it's like selling kits or whatnot when that's really not even it, bro. What's really it is collabing with producers that are already established on YouTube, bro. Once you start getting these collabs in with these producers that have 10,000 subs, 12,000 subs, 15,000 subs, and so on and so on, and you start collabing with bigger producers, these beats are going to sell, bro. Especially if they're good beats. If you're making a great sample or you're sending them a really good idea and, you know, they use that idea, they post it, you know, it does really well, and they're giving you 50%, 40% on beat stars, bro, I'm telling you, that is money the more frequently you do it. A lot of people think that, you know, my kits or whatnot do better than the big beats that I have. And that's not true, bro. A lot of beats that I have, you know, that are in the 300K, 400K, 600K range, bro. Those, I'm telling you, bro, it's the money is there, not kits, bro. So you need to, you know, basically just focus on the craft of making really, really good samples or just finding samples. Sometimes, like, the people that make them sample type beats, bro, like the Meek Mills and the that, that G Herbo type lane, even if you send them a sample idea, bro, sometimes they will give you a percentage. Now, developing these relationships comes down to networking. I don't recommend going into Instagram, like, being super thirsty, you feel me? Like, just straight off the bat, like, just... Just be cool, like, yo, what's up, bro? You know, ease into it. I got samples for you. I got loops for you. I got some ideas for you. And then once you get in there, then you can start talking about percentages and all that. But don't just go straight in the DM, like, yo, bro, I got samples, 50% uh, B stars. Like, cause I've even tried that before and it didn't work, like, on some producers. But shout out to the producers that I do, you know, work with on a regular basis that have big followers on YouTube, like That Boss Evan, RC Beast, Adelo Beast, like, uh, FJ. Um, yeah, people like that, bro, like, that are cool, you know? If you are developing a relationship with people like that and they posting your beats, like, and y'all, they posting y'all collabs, I'm telling you, bro, it's going to start adding up. And maybe on the side, you could be developing your own YouTube and your own, you know, selling your own kits or whatnot, or selling your own type beats. But in the process of you building your own brand, you're earning an income because, you know, you're, uh, what would be the word? Will be the word. I wouldn't say building off of somebody else's, but you're developing a catalog with another producer that already has a huge catalog, and the potential is endless. Feel me? I got one beat where RCB that's at like 700,000 views, and I think I only have 40% of that beat. I don't even have 50% of the beat, and I made a good amount of money. Feel me? I have a few of the Bella beats that have 100K. Not the craziest amount of YouTube numbers, but like, bro. The B subs. Feel me? I think I got one with FJ that got a hundred something K. I got one with Area that has like four hundred something K. Like, bro, I'm telling you, start cut labbing. And I only have 4.2K on my own channel, which is not a lot. <laughs> which is not a lot, bro. I'm trying to get this YouTube to like, I don't even know. But I really, 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 really want to grow it, bro. But um, as y'all can see, like doing the type B thing, um, you know, it was cool and whatnot, but I realized like that's not the direction that I want to take. You know, my personal channel. I'd rather keep collabing with other producers that keep doing the type beat thing and have an income that way, sending them samples and making great beats that way, rather than me, you know, devoting my whole page to that. Of course I do, I got one type beat that someone's trying to buy exclusively. It's called Chances on the channel. Y'all can check that out. It's at like 70 some thousand. But bro, the dude, he's being weird. Like in my email, I'm like, yo, like what's your IG? And he's like, uh, he's like, nah, bro. Like he won't tell me his IG. He's like, yo, just send me the, um, he's like, just send me the contract or whatnot. And I'm like, nah, bro. I, of course I could take that money, but I'm scared. Because like, bro, with the, um, with this placement I got in the UK, somebody kind of did that, bro. What these artists do is they'll have someone from their team unassumingly go by the beat exclusively. And they won't tell you who the artist is and whatnot. And then it'll end up being a placement and you'll get 50% publishing or whatnot. But like, it'll be like a low key, like a low ball, like what, what you got paid for the beat. You know what I'm saying? So always be careful of that, bro. Just never be too eager to sell a beat exclusively. I'm kind of getting off topic. But um, I mean, that's when you sell your own beats. But I'm telling y'all to collab, bro. All right, just collab, collab, collab. And another thing I was doing too, bro, I was posting the collabs like, 
You feel me? You could post a collab on your page and they could post it on their page. Like it makes the beat, you know, more popular, bro. It makes it be more popular. If it does well on your page and does well on their page, it's more chances of a sale. If you get what I'm saying. But that's the main message, man. Just start collabing with these YouTube producers, bro. I'm, they're cool. Most of them are cool. You might get hit with one of them Hollywood boys that's like, you reach out to them and they don't respond. All right, bro, you unfollow them and you on to the next producer. Like, that has clout on YouTube. So, I'm telling you. And like I'm saying, in the midst of doing that, be building your own brand, be building your own YouTube. This is just to get to the point where you don't have to work a job as quick as possible, bro. I haven't worked a job since January and I'm doing, I probably made like three, four times the amount I was ever making at my job, put it like that. So, and the most uh, sold products are these collab beats that, you know, I'm making with other people. It's all about your specialty and their specialty. My specialty is more so the melodies and whatnot. And if you find somebody with amazing drums that fits your sound, that's the goal too. Find someone that fits your sound. Search up the type beats that you make and see who's ranking. See who's, you know, see who's popping right now. I'm like, yo, I feel like he could snap on my melody. I could make something for him. Make some, make him a little pack, three, four pack of loops. DM him, yo, bro, I got something for you. He's gonna be like, bet. He's gonna check it out. He's gonna send them back. Yo, I'm posting these. What's your B stars? What's your B stars? Once you hear that, you good, bro. And once you see that, such and such added you as a collaborator, you're in there. You are in there. Now you know that this person likes your samples enough to post them and sell them. So keep, I'm telling y'all, bro, keep grinding with it, bro, and keep reaching out to the YouTube producers. This is the fastest way for you to not be able to have to work a job. It's the fast way for you to be doing this full time without your own YouTube having a whole bunch of subs, bro. Without your own YouTube having a whole bunch. You could have zero subs and do this. You know, if y'all know who LC is, bro, he had that one beat with Ann Chamberlain. I don't even, LC does have a YouTube, but bro, he doesn't really use it like that. But he had that one beat with Ann Chamberlain, uh, Endless Pain. I know he made racks off of that beat, bro. He don't even got it, like, he only used his own YouTube. It is racks in it, bro. Start reaching out, I'm telling y'all, bro. And I know he got plenty of other beats on Beatstar because I've seen his name as, added as a collaborator. I'll just be searching around on YouTube and find hard beats. And there his name is, bro. He don't even he don't even use his own YouTube. So, I mean, you could still be building yours in the meantime, but you really don't even have to. I mean, of course, I want to do that because I want my own YouTube popping. But, bro, the possibilities are endless. You could have millions and millions and millions and millions of views added up. I mean, these beats may not be on your page per se, but you're gonna be getting the money from the sales, which is the most important, and which is the easiest way for you not to have to work a job, the easiest way for you to be doing this full time, the easiest way for your name to get around too, bro. Like, and it's, it's an easy way to get placements too, bro. Like, beats off of YouTube are getting placed nowadays often, bro. My boy Othello Beats, his beat was on YouTube. Tory Lanez just put it on his album. Imagine if one of y'all or even me made that sample. Now you got a Tory Lanez placement. Cause you sent the YouTube producer a sample. Like, come on, bro. Come on. So in conclusion, like I'm saying, bro, this is the easiest. And I'm telling you, when I say easiest, this is a shortcut to not have to work a job, to be doing this full time, to to just be grinding, bro. I'm, I'm telling y'all. Collabing with YouTube producers that are already established. And if you come up with about, I mean, for me, I probably got like five or six that I do on a regular basis. But imagine you got 10 producers that have over 10, 20, 30, 40K, 50K for subs that you are collabing with on a regular basis. One, of, one or two, three, four of those, five of those beats are going to blow up. If you send them the right stuff and they snapping on them. So like, come on, bro. I don't got nothing else to say. If you take this advice and you use it and you start getting some sales, make sure you shout your boy out. Make sure if you in the comments, like, wow, I, I want to see like, what do y'all think of this? Like, have y'all ever like even like thought of doing to like really just reaching out to all these big YouTube producers and like trying to work with them, bro? They will add you as a collaborator. So tell me in the comments, like, yo, what do y'all even think of this? Like. Some of y'all might be like, man, this is trash. I'm not doing it. Some of y'all might be like, bro, I, wow, I'm about to start doing it. I don't know. But let me know in the comments, man. I'm out of here. Tomorrow, I'm going to probably post another vlog and probably cook up. I'm doing these every single day, like literally what I'll be thinking about. What can help y'all? 
trying to add value. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here, man.